every first person shooter has certain elements that are the same from game to game. Jumping and aiming down sights, most FPS games have these mechanics or features, but why exactly? Well, obviously, you ADS to increase your accuracy, you jump to get over obstacles, running is so you don't waste time in the game or get bored, and crouching is to make yourself a smaller target. There, video over. From a game design perspective, there's a few reasons to include these movement and mechanics. You have to remember that back in the 90s, crouching and running weren't as ubiquitous as they are now, and aiming down sights was unheard of. But once one or two su successful games did it, all the other games started to do it. It's almost like new car models. Built-in Wi-Fi is a brand new thing today, and it's special in cars, but in 10 years, it will be standard. Features and mechanics in popular video games work the same. An example of this is Prince of Persia and the acrobatics in video games like Tomb Raider. After Prince of Persia did it, other games started to follow, Assassin's Creed then Tomb Raider. You can even argue mantling over objects in games like Call of Duty or Battlefield are from acrobatics or parkour that originated in Prince of Persia. They really set the standard in that game for all action and adventure games and all the other franchises eventually followed suit. This is how games and products evolve. It's also why competition is healthy. You compete to outdo your opponent or yourself, then more people will buy your product, you will get more sales, and then you spend it on improving the last design. You end up, theoretically, with the best product or game with the feature or mechanic. You know, it's you end up with the best possible outcome, including your parameters. And nothing like this has happened. You don't really have a perfect product out there. But it's a theoretical thing, and eventually this could happen because you keep improving on yourself. I'm going to use Call of Duty as an example. Imagine 15 years down the line, Call of Duty doesn't get an updated version anymore every year. You have one Call of Duty game that has stood the test of time for the past three years because it legitimately is the perfect Call of Duty. You have all the right mechanics, you have all the right guns, you have great maps, you have great customization, and for whatever reason, however they did it, you have a great community. Don't know how they did it. Don't ask me. But you understand that after 15 years of innovation, 15 years of basically perfecting that formula, Call of Duty eventually got to a place where it was perfect. And obviously, this is the future and it's fake. But you get the idea. It's the same thing with Battlefield or Assassin's Creed even. You get to the point where you innovate so much that that feature or that mechanic in the game is perfect. You know, um, for the most part in Assassin's Creed, climbing and jumping in the parkour system is perfect. And that took years and years and maybe even more years, you know, to get to that point. But now it's there. It doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel wonky. And people really like that. It feels smooth and it feels right. Sprinting is another example of a perfect mechanic. Believe it or not, sprinting wasn't the thing it was today 10 years ago. 10 years ago, it was janky and different from game to game. Now it's the same thing from game to game, and it almost always feels the same. It's literally one of the perfect mechanics in games. You know, most of the time, you have the exact same sprint speed, or at least it feels the same, and you, it feels right. You know, besides indie games who, like, speed up every once in a while or whatever, you feel the same sprinting mechanic in, from game to game, and it feels good. It feels right. It feels normal. And honestly, if you were to mess with the sprint speed or meant with how you mess with how you sprinted in a brand new AAA game, it would feel weird to everybody because of how many games do that do it the same. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video here. I know it was a shorter video, but I really wanted to talk about crouching and these mechanics and games that are always there. It's really kind of a small topic to talk about, but at the same time, I'm also really trying to get into the Overwatch scene and make sure to get those Halloween skins before my life gets taken over by Civ 6 on Friday. So, if you guys are excited for either of that, either Overwatch Halloween events or Civ 6, subscribe to me now. If you guys liked this video, however short it was, subscribe to me, and rate the video. Then, you know, like it up or down, and then go into the comments and tell me why you rated it like you did. With that, my name has been Z Star, and I'll see you guys in the next video.